The Purpose Driven Life is a devotional book by American pastor and author Rick Warren, first published in 2002. Taking the form of a 40-day personal spiritual journey, the book explores what Warren says are God's five purposes for human life on earth, and describes itself as a blueprint for Christian living in the modern day. It uses frequent passages from the Bible to challenge the conventional definitions of Christian worship, ministry, and evangelism. Considered one of the most important modern Christian texts, it explores themes including the meaning of life, what it truly means to be close to God, and what the best way to serve God's purpose truly is. A mega bestseller. It sold more than 30 million copies in its first five years and was on the New York Times bestseller list for more than 90 weeks. A 2005 survey of American pastors and ministers named The Purpose Driven Life as the most significant book in their lives and ministries. Although some Christian scholars criticized it for its interpretation of biblical passages, it struck a chord with readers. It entered the news in 2005 when a woman managed to calm the criminal taking her hostage by reading to him from The Purpose Driven Life. This story was adapted into the movie Captive, starring David Oyelowo and Kate Mara. The Purpose Driven Life is divided into 40 short chapters, which are subdivided into an introductory segment and five main sections. In the opening segment, Warren establishes his main points. First, it all starts with God and we can only discover our identities and purpose through Him. Second, we are not accidents, having been created by God for a specific purpose. Third, we must ask what drives our life and make sure that we are not being driven by things such as guilt, resentment, anger, or fear. Instead, a purpose-driven life will give us meaning and prepare us for eternity. Our relationship with God is meant to last forever, and it allows us to see life from God's view. Life is a temporary assignment on the way to eternity. The reason for everything is that we bring God glory by loving other believers, becoming like Christ, serving others with our gifts, and telling others about Him. The first main segment establishes that we were planned for God's pleasure. Bringing enjoyment to God is our first pleasure, and He wants us to enjoy our life as well. What makes God smile is when we trust Him, obey Him, and praise Him. The heart of worship is trusting God and admitting our limitations. We can become best friends with God through constant conversation and meditation. Developing a friendship with God means obeying God in faith and valuing what God values. He values worship that is accurate, authentic, thoughtful, and practical. When God seems distant, it is key to trust in His plan and continue talking to Him as if He were there, and thank Him for what He has already done. The second purpose states that we were formed for God's family, and we are all His children. Love is what matters most in life. We are called to belong to God's family, not just to believe, and the church is how God's family manifests. Life is meant to be shared with our fellow believers. This involves cultivating community, which means showing honesty, humility, courtesy, and frequent regular contact. Broken fellowships and relationships can be restored by taking the initiative, showing compassion, and talking to God first. To protect our church, it is key to be realistic, encouraging, refuse to listen to gossip, and practice God's method for conflict resolution. Purpose 3 states that we were created to become like Christ. God wants us to take on His values, attitude, and character. God wants us to grow up, and this takes an intentional commitment. We are transformed by His truth, and we are transformed by the troubles we endure and overcome. We grow through temptation and by overcoming temptation in favor of sticking to our principles. Temptation is defeated by focusing on other things, finding support in others, realizing what it is, and accepting our vulnerability. It takes time to achieve spiritual growth, but God supports us through our journey. Purpose 4 says that we were shaped for serving God. The first part of this is accepting our assignment, no matter what it may be. Every role that serves God is a significant one. God shaped each creature with a unique purpose, and that includes our spiritual gifts, our heart, our abilities, our personality, and our experience. Each of these elements gives us part of what we need to serve God, and it is up to us to explore and understand these elements so we can best use them in God's service. Then, it is time to use and embrace what God gave us. God does not make mistakes, so there is no point to try to reshape ourselves to be like someone else. Real servants serve God by serving others and are faithful to their ministry. 
Service starts in the mind, humility and devotion to others are key. God finds power in weakness, and instead of hating weakness, it is key to see it as a trophy of grace. The final purpose states that we were all made for a mission. God intends us to have a ministry to continue Jesus' mission on earth. This includes sharing our mission, our testimony, our life lessons, our godly passions, and the good news of salvation. Becoming a world-class Christian requires shifting from self-centered, local thinking to compassionate, social, eternal thinking. It requires balancing life, making sure to give enough time to worship, ministry, evangelism, fellowship, and discipleship. This is the key to living with purpose. Rick Warren is an American pastor and author, the founder and senior pastor of Saddleback Church, the eighth-largest church in the United States. A noted conservative activist, he is best known for his book The Purpose Driven Life and its predecessor The Purpose Driven Church. In all, he has published eight best-selling books. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.